Hi guys, my name's Kelvin, I'm with bushlifenewzealand.com. I want to do a video today on uh, Special Operations Research and Development, MFF Rig. So, SWORD is the known SORD, is an Australian outfit and they make high quality uh, hunting and military gear. This here is a mini chest rig designed for the military market and uh, it's designed for military free fall parachutists. I think it's a lot of applications for the civilian market. Uh, normally, like military stuff, it, it tends to be a lot bigger. So over here, this is a chest rig. Uh, pouches are different, but this rig I, I used in Afghanistan. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger. Uh, that's way overkill for, for what we might need out on the hills. Uh, the chest rig uses the PAL system, which stands for Pouch Attachment Ladder System. And basically you've got uh, webbing here and that you then weave through, so you, you weave your pouch onto the chest rig. So what that means is now we get to set this up how we want and we can put on as much or as little gear as, as is necessary. The problem I find with a traditional bino harness is it's sort of like very narrow lump right in the center of your chest and it's sort of, it carries kind of funny. Also, there's not a lot of real estate on there, so if you want to carry a few extra things like a GPS or a laser range finder, EPIRB, spear mag, uh, you know, chocolate bar, what have you, the, the only real way uh, real estate on it, you end up with a very bulky rig because you end up putting more pouches on the front of it. With this, what we can do is move those pouches around to the side, and so we have a minimal footprint out to the front, but it, and bring that uh, it around here, which also makes the chest rig more stable, as it's now, instead of being uh, harnessed up to a little platform on the front there, it's, uh, it's, a, larger, it's a larger footprint. So the advantage of the power system is that it lets you do what you want. For example, this here is the sword um, laser rangefinder pouch, what I have in it is a pair of binos. These here are the Minox 8x42s, and this pouch is uh, it's stiffened and it's padded and makes a great little bino pouch. Using the power system, we can set this up on our chest rig where we want, and then we can add like an extra pouch or two as we see fit, or, or not. Over here I've got the 60 round uh, ammo pouch and as you can see I'm just keeping a, a sword, uh, sorry a, uh, a thermos in there. Um, it's designed for two AR type mags but you can put in a bunch of different stuff. Um, for example this here is an ammo wallet, this will hold a 20 round of a 308 or a 303 ammo. Probably a bit overkill if you're hunting but you know if you're out doing target shooting it's a decent amount of uh, kit. These pouches will also hold some of the 500ml water bottles as well. Here we have uh, a Kestrel pouch, and this one here is for a torch. This is a Helicantex medical pouch. This is a, another, this is the Helicantex competition medical pouch. And then lastly, um, this is the sword iPhone pouch. So this is a padded pouch. Uh, it lets you keep your phone, so if you've got ballista caps and things like that on it, you can uh, keep that in there. Uh, it is padded, but it's not waterproof, so if you're going to keep your phone in there, you might want to put it in a plastic bag or something. This is just an example of, of a few of the pouches that you could carry. Like say you're doing search and rescue, you could set this up completely different. Uh, if you're in the army, you might just have right mag pouches on it. Um, you know, if you're playing uh, airsoft or whatever, you, you can set it up however you, you want. And that's what I like about the PAL system, it's, you know, choose your own adventure type setup. You, uh, you put on the pouches that you need or don't. So just because, you know, there's eight channels of uh, PALs there, doesn't mean you have to fill every one. You could uh, maybe just have the bino pouch and a med pouch, for example. Alright, so the, we've got the two rigs here. The first is the old style, and this is, um, we'll call this the solid one. And then the second one is the mesh. So... The difference here is pretty clear. This is sewn onto the mesh and uh, this is on the straight called Jura. So the old style one that has a Velcro section at the bottom. So 
So what that allows you to do is hang dangler pouches off the bottom of it, uh, off the bottom of the rig, and uh, and that way carry more gear. On the back of it, as you can see, the uh, the solder one is slick, whereas the mesh version has uh, a pocket. Also, if we look at the harness, the mesh version is uh, more set up like a, a bino harness. Really, it, it's got more of the H H setup. H frame, and this is more like a traditional bono harness. The solid one, on the other hand, is uh, just uh, set up like with a traditional X harness. Both can work, but it's up to you what you prefer. Um, they're both pretty decent. The price wise, very similar. Really, it's like do you want something a bit more solid but a bit heavier, or something a bit lighter and a bit, a bit more breathable? The footprint of the, both is the same, so we have eight columns of POWs, uh, eight columns of POWs webbing along the bottom, and then one of uh, one row of six columns along the top, and that's the same on both of them. So how we use that? We um, done a, a blog post on the POW system, so if you want more info, check that out. But basically, you're going to weave that through. Weave your pouch through here. That's then going to weave back through the pouch, then through the chest rig, through the pouch, through the chest rig, and then that's going to anchor at the bottom. And it's actually a very sturdy system. This uh, pouch weaving originally developed in the late 90s, so it's well over 20 years old now. It's very developed, and uh, there's all kinds of different setups, uh, all different kinds of ways. Uh, for example, um, Helicon use the, the tuck tab method and you know, sort of have a velcro setup. There's others that you can uh, that use uh, press studs and all sorts. Alright guys, that's the video for today. Thanks for hanging on to the end. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you do end up on the website, be sure to sign up for our email list. Uh, like every week we'll run a promotion uh, and we, we only send out like two emails a week. Um, there'll always be a discount code in there and there'll always be something cool, like a cool little story or a reason to click on it. Even if you're not interested in buying something, it's well worth checking out. As always, hit the hills, live the bush life. Cheers, guys.